Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Dolberg to review today. If you guys hear noise in the background, it's just because things are being done around my house. Uh, we have a broad, uh, we have the NVIDIA broadcast thing that tries to eliminate the background noise as much as possible. But just to let you guys know if you guys hear a little bit of it, okay? So with Dolberg, we're taking a look at a card that is six foot two, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. In-game player traits, he actually has the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait, while also having the flare trait, which is definitely uh, very, very cool to work with for this card. Uh, base card stats or pass is set up really nicely so that we can give him the engine chemistry style because we do want to boost his balance by a plus 10. This card does have a high and average body type, so we do want to improve the balance as much as possible considering how tall this card actually is, right? Uh, base card stats for shooting set up really nicely for this card at 98 attacking positioning while working with high medium work rates uh, base card stats for shooting for finishing is 97 99 95 93 with 91 composure all of that is pretty good for the meta of the game nowadays uh, base card stats for passing also very good for this card so that when we give him the engine chemistry style uh, the passing is improved by a lot uh, again with dribbling we will be experimenting with in game because of the balance boost that we do need to give him uh I don't expect his dribbling to be crazy responsive, but for a physical type striker, they did a good job with this card, I think, from what I'm looking at, because of the way that they boost their cards, right? Uh, 99 heading accuracy, which is helpful if you clear the ball out. Uh, heading from time to time, it could be nice. Uh, base card stats for physical, 98 for strength to work with his body type and height, and then he also has 89 for stamina. So, with this Dolberg card, guys, we're going to be lined up like this. We're going to be using the 4 1 2 and 2 tactics. We'll play him as one of two of the strikers I'm just going to switch mbappe over here depai will play as an aggressive cam switch that there and then we're going to put renato as the cdm it's very hard to switch if you can't tell um dolberg is he is he right footed let me see right footed dolberg Right footed, yeah. Okay, so right foot, we're going to try him off to the left side then. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, all right, awesome. Yeah, let's try him out like this. We'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully, he's a beast. Am I going to get this? Oh. Oh, man. I just, I, I needed just a quick little ball roll or a half croquetta. To get on his left foot right there, you know? Ooh, on his weak foot there, too. It's hard to say if I actually deserve to get past that because of the connection right there, but it was a good finish. I said weak foot, like it's actually his weak foot, it's his right foot. Sorry, I was reviewing Lukaku earlier today, so <laughs> my mind is still set in Lukaku right now. Oh, it was a good strike, though. It was a good strike. That is a low percentage strike because of how low we are from the 18-yard uh, box. Oh. Ooh, comes back. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, Dolber got the ball there, but then the slide, man. No. fair with you guys his um his physical presence and his attacking ai so far it's pretty solid to be honest it's not bad at all um reason being is because usually when players have high medium work rates they're naturally in the striker position and they have 99 attacking positioning that's usually the case with these types of cards for sure um so he's definitely one of those types of dudes which is awesome Mm, right there, I try to do a. Uh... Oh my god! It's so you got to do a lot of extra stuff when you're inside the 18 yard box. Like right there, I have to go for a heel to heel to be able to take that kind of strike, you know. But then his defensive AI blocks it, which was unfortunate. Oh, I thought his physical was gonna break through right there. Oh, that's offside. 
was hoping that Dolberg would kind of aggressively push into that space there, but you can see that he doesn't really do the whole um, explosive run after a pass kind of thing, right? Like, he does it, obviously, but he's a physical type striker, so he's not going to do it um, in that super agile way, if that makes sense. Oh, free kick again. We'll take that. So I think with him, it's like... Oh, he's moving his goalkeeper. Okay, so with him, it's like here. Just more power. That should be okay, actually. Oh, okay, okay. He saves that. So he moves the goalkeeper perfectly then. So when they move the goalkeeper, I'll just uh, do the free kick tactic. Oh, too much power. Too much power. A couple of uh, left stick dribbles uh, worked out okay there, though. Not too bad. Wow, the guy gets it from behind me, eh? Hmm, interesting. Strike across. Oh, under pressure, he loses the ball there, eh? Okay. See, so right there, I actually did a left stick uh, touch inwards, and he went outwards right there. Again, physical type strikers are going to do stuff like that for sure. Uh, I try to go for a chip shot there. Um, yeah, I got to put less power into that, but it was like a direct one. I wish the chip shots were more looped. The only way you can get a consistent loop shot is if you go for certain cards that, you know, chip really well, like Messi and stuff, or you go for that skill move where you have, I think it's either with a flare trait or five star skills where you flick it backwards upwards, and then you kind of like flick it with your back heel into the net. That's the only way you can really loop that chip shot. On a consistent basis, of course. He misses that. No, Dolberg, come on, man. You gotta hit those for me, BB. With him, like, once you hit those types of strikes, you have to understand that you have to, uh, that was the skill move right there. That's the chip shot I was trying to tell you guys earlier. Uh, that's the only way you can really, like, loop it over the uh, goalkeeper. But, uh, yeah, man. Got across? Okay, he goes on his weak foot right there. Oh, uh, no, that was a strong foot right there. Yeah, that's a strong foot. Sorry, Lukaku's still in my brain. <laughs> yeah, so I do that skill move because, I like I tell you guys before, uh, it puts your body ahead of the ball. And because he's a big dude, it'll be... Pretty hard to get the ball off him once he gets that skill move completed and the defenders kind of face a certain way and stuff. So with his high medium work rates, guys, uh, he doesn't have like amazing attacking AI. It's just good considering the base characteristics of, a, of the card being, um, you know, a physical oriented striker. For me personally, with the physical strikers, I did prefer the way that Ether moved across the pitch, like the player moments Ether card. But like I said, with uh, this card, He's still doing okay. Let's get on the inside here. Little oh, get the skill move out. Oh no, yeah. So the left stick dribbling, it's better when you are dribbling normally. But when you're up against defenders, uh, you definitely notice the physical side of the card a lot. Like his base characteristics from his card before is pretty noticeable. That was with his weak foot right there. So don't expect to score that. In those areas, you have to go for a half coquette on the inside. Maybe get on his strong foot there. Oh, wow. He went for a header right there? Was that what he went for? He should have gone for a strike with his foot, actually. There it is. Little skill move. Finesse close to the goalkeeper. Good finish. That was really close to the goalkeeper, too. Yeah, I wanted to try a uh, finesse shot with his weak foot. Four-star weak foot's usually not super ideal to do finesse shots from outside the 18. They're very inconsistent. Oh, man. If I got that skill move off, I would have had a finesse shot angle there. 
It's tough to work the finesse shot angle with him because his dribbling is not, not the craziest, but... I don't know what that touch was. I try to go for a heel to heel and I think the game registered something else. Oh, come on, do the roulette, TA. Get the shot. Oh, too close to the goalkeeper. But you see what I mean by the attacking attacking positioning, right? Like, he actually utilizes empty space well. Again, combination, high, medium work rates, attacking positioning high, that kind of stuff. Finesse shot. Oh. Nice. Finesse shot from there? Uh, yeah, it's a low percentage strike. Remember Neymar the other day, bro? Neymar has no finesse shot trade. Doesn't matter, bro. He has the body type and everything for it. He actually scored that. Let's go. Let's go. He actually scores that. There it is. That's the finesse shot we need. He pulled out his goalkeeper a little bit, so it kind of gave me that little bit of extra space, but the ball roll finesse always works out. Uh, sure. Not what I meant to do, but we'll make it work. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Dolberg card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, the engine chemistry style definitely makes the most sense to give him for the pace boost, dribbling boost, uh, while working with already very good shooting and very good passing stats, right? So uh, with the engine chemistry style boosting the balance as much as possible, you, your aim is to improve the six foot two height and high and average body type as much as possible. So with this card, uh, from a base characteristic, you will notice his dribbling not being the craziest, but being done well because of him being a physical oriented striker right so uh, the boost that was given to him uh, definitely makes him more usable in the meta of the gameplay but obviously because he's a physical type player it's just a little bit easier for these guys to lose possession of the ball right um, in regards to attacking AI, attacking AI works out really well for this card because of his 98 attacking positioning with high medium work rates. He definitely is very noticeable in game. He definitely moves across the pitch really well um, with his finesse shot trade and stuff. It's not crazy relevant because of his body type, the six foot two height. Like players like Coutinho, Messi, they have the right body type, the right shooting stats, the right everything uh, to make those bad boys pop off. Dolberg will be good at hitting them, mostly from inside the 18 yard box. That's where you're going to really feel it the most. But outside the 18 yard box, it's going to be a little bit harder to get those opportunities because of those base characteristics for him being a physical player. Um, for the SBC being 83k, honestly, guys, it's not bad at all. It's not on the level of someone like um, the other card, or there was another physical type striker that I checked out the other day with high medium work rates. I was sick. I'm pretty sure it was an SBC card. And I can't remember for the life of me who it was. Uh... Braithwaite. Yeah, but I think Braithwaite, Braithwaite has medium high work rates, which is a little bit different, but he actually felt pretty good too. So I don't think he's on Braithwaite's level either, right? But it's still a pretty decent price for what the SBC is for you to have fun and try out. Uh, like I said, I don't think the card is special. It's more a card that you use for fun or for sentimental value, but... I mean, do this to Andre Silva, and I'm unlocking the card immediately. So <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.